Just put together this short video to try and help you make better use of ePraise and, and make your lives a little bit easier while you're at home. Firstly, um, I think it's important to say that ePraise wasn't really put together for what we are using it for. It was really just a method of, of communicating homework home. The volume of work that's been uploaded through it is, is very unusual. And all in all, I think the platform is holding up pretty well. First thing I want you to all be really conscious of is the option under the Me tab at the top where you can go and select and change your password. If you've not already done so, please do that. Really important to keep your password secure. And changing it does generally make it a little bit easier for you to remember because it's something that you have set it to. Again, under the Me tab, we've got the Profile option. And if we can just click on the profile option for now, this will take you to your own sort of individual home page. And across the top right corner, there are several different options. But what I want you to look at first of all is the class notes option. This will take you to a page that displays all of the work that has been set via ePraise. Scrolling down, you can see that there is a huge amount of work that has been set. So it is understandable, really, that for a lot of pupils, that's quite confusing, a little bit um, daunting and overfacing. So what we're going to do is look at a slightly different way of viewing it. But before we go to that, I just want you to draw your attention to this, which is the Submit Online button. If teachers have activated this feature by clicking on this button, you will be able to submit any work back to them through the ePage platform, not through email. But what I want to show you now is this little planner icon that it looks like a bit like a diary or a calendar, which is one of the icons at the top right. If we click on that, it takes us to a different view. It's still the same work, still within the same profile, it is just laid out a little bit differently. And it is done on a week to week basis. If you get to a point in a couple of weeks where you've lost something and you can't find it, you can just use the arrows to scroll back to a previous week. ePraise defaults to show work that is uh, display work, sorry, that is due on this particular day. So all of the work here will have been due on Monday. We are not 100% sure at the minute as staff which is the best way of using the due date and the set by date is. And we are working on that. Um, for this week, it's probably best just to get through the week as best we can. Uh, over the Easter holiday, we'll have a little bit of a rethink. And then we will hopefully, after that, have a very consistent approach to it and everyone will be following the same pattern. Obviously, there is more information contained in these boxes than you can currently see. So if you click on the box, you can then scroll down and that will show you all of the work that has been set by that particular teacher. If there is an attachment, you'll have this option at the bottom to download the attachment. And once the work is done, you've got this option to mark the work as done. That will change any boxes in the top corner that might be yellow to green to signify that you have done that work. The other thing that you can do again is upload the work if this button has been activated um, teachers have to activate it to say that they want the work back on the assumption that they have done you can click on it it will bring up this very simple box what you then need to do from an area in your documents is simply click and drag some work over let go i'm not actually going to do it because i'm in somebody else's profile let go and that will upload that work to ePraise. Really simple, really straightforward. For now, that's uh, about it. I don't want to show you too many things in one go. Uh, over the coming weeks, I will look to put together one or two other videos in response to queries or questions or difficulties that people have been having. Um, also, potentially one or two other features that we are looking to activate within ePraise that will hopefully make just communication between school and home that a little bit easier. If you've got any problems with ePraise, please get in touch um, either via email to Mr. Hyam, uh, the email address is on the school website, or 
uh, on the assumption you can access ePraise, you can use the messenger facility that we have just activated uh, since schools closed. Thank you. Just as a, a quick addition to that video, just realised when I'd finished that I'd just missed saying something. Um, the, although the app is very useful and dead handy through the, the phones or whatever it might be that you're using to access them, there isn't quite the same level of functionality through the app that there is through the website. So if you can manage to use a PC or a laptop to actually access it, you will get more functionality and more features uh, in ePraise rather than simply relying on the app all the time. Thank you.